back, baby. Back on the road. All right, y'all. So as you saw, the tra the car is not back. It's back on the trailer, as you can see. And we got the whole gang in the truck right now. We got Matthews, Princess. Say what's up, Princess. On the center Princess. Castle. What's up? She's hanging out. We got Max in the back, and we're heading to the house. Um, so I had to pick up the car, so we brought the whole gang, but today we got a change of plan. So at first it was at my boy NBA Motorsports, uh, my buddy Matt and Justin's shop, and they were going to help me out, figure out what's going on with it, but I thought about it a little bit, and your boy realized that I threw in the towel way too quick. I was all pissed off and whatnot because it broke, and now I'm realizing that I need to at least try this out myself because I take on any challenge, and I can do anything I set my mind to. So that's the that's the thought process of today. So we're gonna bring it to the house and uh, bring the whole gang with us and see if we can fix this thing. So I just got back to the shop. We got Max here helping out. What's up, buddy? Where you going? Come here. But I got the car all backed up to the shop. As you guys can see, I cleaned the shop out last night. It's actually the next day because it started raining on us and I just wanted to clean out the shop, put a nice little spot because this car, I don't know how long it's gonna be here. We working on it. But the shop's all clean, got the bikes all lined up, got everything sweeped out, ready to work on this thing. So we're gonna unload this, pull it in, and I think I'm gonna start pulling it apart. And also I got a whole bunch of other little stuff going on, so who knows what's gonna happen today. But what I do know is we're getting this car unloaded and getting this thing put in the shop. I'm hoping this isn't too hard. Hopefully this thing just rolls in with no issues, but I guess we're gonna find out. All right, y'all, so it's a risky business right now. We don't, look at that little bit of, we got about an inch on each side. Princess, what do you think? Princess approves. All right. Let it rip. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. All right, guys, so it's the next day. It's been a couple days, actually, and uh, today we're finally ripping apart the Hellcat, and also Matthew's hat finally has his interior for his Jeep. So right now, your boy is sitting on, he's a bucket man right now, but he's got his seats inside. So check these things out. These things are absolutely insane. We're gonna have to put these in the Hellcat, bro. You're crazy. I don't know if these are Jeep quality, bro. Hey, if you, if you let me get your motor, I'll let you get my seats. Motor for seats? I don't know, I don't know if that's a good trade. What's this guy in it? This has a big badass motor in it. It's got the 3.8. The 3.8? That might be a good trade. That might run, unlike yeah. mine. That shit runs. Yeah, this thing's all reliable. This thing looks kind of, kind of rough. Yeah, she's rough. So guys, this has been a long time coming to put these seats in. It's literally been like two or three months that I've been driving Matthews around because his Jeep hasn't been ready waiting on these damn seats. But I guess you get uh, good things come to those who wait and they look pretty sick. So I don't know. I guess it was definitely worth the wait because these things literally look insane. But we're about to throw them in. Get these bad boys installed. I'm probably gonna take this thing for a little cruise. I don't know. Uh, right now we're just cleaning out the inside. We're about to put the carpets in. We're about to put uh, the trim pieces in. Do something with this. Bolt this up. You got the bolts for this? I don't know. <laughs> they might be up there. He used to have a crazy system in this thing until it got jacked. Got a big sub box, all types of stuff, and someone finessed his ass because he left his top off. Now. I guess it's the final stages, hopefully. We're gonna get this thing all in within the next uh, hour or so, so I guess let's throw this in. All right, so like I said, this has been a long process just getting these seats out, and somehow Matthews forgot the damn bolt. So now we gotta go I to the just, hardware I lost store. That shit. Yeah, so. he's got one. So we're about to go to the hardware store. He's got two, and we gotta go get a whole bunch of bolts for the interior to mount these seats in. So. Now you know why this shit's a long ass process. Yeah, it's always something. It's never easy, but you know, it is what it is. Let's go, bro. Come on. Hold it up. What do we got here? So we made it back. About to throw these seats in finally. We got the bolts. There's nothing holding us back now. Don't say that. Like, <laughs> do not say that. Like, I, just set us up, I just set us up for failure pretty much with that. But no, it's, uh, let's hope for the best and get these things installed. So, wish us luck. Damn, son. These things are fire. I'm glad I had this idea for you, bro. This came out nice. 
What'd you do without me? I don't know. Where's my last seatbelt? Oh. I see it. It's right there. We Damn, son. Pretty excited. Are you? I don't even know how I feel. Like, it's been so long, it's not even like I'm, it's more like about time. Yeah, it's been a minute, but they look freaking sick. That red on white. The bloody guts. Now we just need to drop this motor in there. Get you, get you a sponsor to get out yeah. Who wants to, who wants to go fund him? You make a, you make a go fund me, Hellcat in my Jeep swap. Oh. Yeah, I say we I say we take a little break. Take a little break, get some food, and then hop on the Hellcat. I'm down. I need some tuna in me. Matthews is salty. I ate all the chips. But three bags of chips in three hours. <laughs> Those are the lime chips. Though the lime chips are so fire. The hint of lime. I know. You can't even I, get mad. That, that, no, you can't that, even get mad. No, that's why. I'm the mad. chips are too good. I'm not gonna lie. I was at my parents' house. Like, damn, some lime chips right now would be fire. Like, I'm craving that shit. And then I get back to the crib, and they're gone. Hey. That's how, I feel. how it is around here. Snooze, you lose. So Matthews thinks that the. There's the gravitational pull right now no, of the wow. earth. He saw it. TikToks, he saw some Instagram no, videos. No We're about to see He's right on now. Snapchat stories. This is gonna be legit. No, bro. Look stupid. No, it's not. Watch, I'm about to get hyped. Bro, no. That literally almost. I'm pretty sure this will work any day of the freaking year. No, only today. <gasps> oh, oh my god. I told you. I should not Look at this, look at this. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. No strings attached right now. Stop capping on me! I have been seeing on everyone's Snapchat. This is, <laughs> this is crazy. I'm gonna try this tomorrow, and I'm telling you it's not gonna work, bro. Cause that's not. My, I don't even. I don't know what my TikTok is. I wonder how many people have tried this today. Cause I've seen at least like, bro, at least ten or twenty Snapchats I know. of this. This is crazy. Bro. <laughs> Look at. What's going on? Look at you holding your your head. Look at. No, it's a flat. Uh, the Earth is flat. What the? No, <laughs> You're like holding your head. Yo, follow my Instagram for good, uh, good stories like that. If you're trying to stay up to date with all the shenanigans of the day. So we just got back from a little test drive in Matthew's Jeep. All was well. Let me get my coffee. I got my coffee. And we're about to work on this Hellcat. Finally, we're about to find out what's up with it. So first things first, I'm gonna pull the supercharger pulley off because my thoughts is a lot of you guys said it's in the supercharger. So I'm thinking pull the pulley off, start it up with no um, pulley. The reason I haven't done this yet is because I need Matthews to start the car after I pull this off and turn it off right away if it's making noise. If it's not making noise, then we're Gucci, but I don't know about all that. So first things first, I'm gonna pull this off, and second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the accessory pulley off that has like the condenser and the AC and all that stuff. I'm gonna pull that off second if it's still making noise. If it's making noise after that, I'm gonna raise the car up and drain the oil, see if there's any um, metal flakes in it. And if there's metal flakes in it, unsubscribe because this shit's done. <laughs> Channel's over. And if there's no metal shavings in the oil, then I'm gonna pull the blower, and then I'm gonna pull the valve cover. So that's the step by step by step I'm gonna do. Breakdown. The breakdown and I guess first things first, I guess let's get this belt off and hope for the best. Oh my God. You think it's gonna fucking... Probably not. If I just hold it, get this belt off. I gotta pull this belt off. Which I All right. So I just got the supercharger belt off. We got just the normal belt on, and we're gonna crank it up real quick. Um, and if I hear the sound, then that's not good. If we don't hear the sound, then we know it was in the supercharger. So that's where we're at right now. So I'm gonna set up the camera, start this thing up. Use this screwdriver as like a stethoscope. I'm gonna put it up to my ear, put it on the valve cover, and see if it's coming from there. Cause I do think it's coming from this side. So that's what I'm doing here. It actually works. If you guys didn't believe. It. That did not sound good. Is it still making it? Yeah, do it again. Start it. I did not hear it. Start it and turn it off. What is... Did it even make the noise? No. I don't know 
what it is, but it sounds like valve, like when you go to start it, it makes this valve chatter and then it turns it off. I don't know, it's really weird, I don't know. It, it's really weird, I don't know. I'm, we're trying to figure it out right now, so I guess I'll let you guys know if I figure anything out. So when we first started, it started making a noise and then it went away and it hasn't came back. So I don't know what the hell is going on, but I'm in a total, I don't know what you would call it. What would you call that? I'm confused. Confusion. I'm in confusion right now. I'm conflicted. In a good way. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if I should be happy. For sure, Happy for sure. Yeah, it could be worse. We put it at 3,000 RPMs in it. Yeah, we were just revving it and we didn't hear the sound. So, I don't know. We're not out of the water yet, but I don't know. This is really weird. I wonder if maybe like a coil pack's bad and it's making it like spark knock or something like that. And it's causing that sound if a coil pack went bad because it started limping. It went into limp mode and it started misfiring. And. Makes sense. I mean, dude, it's definitely nothing major. That's what I would yeah, think. Yeah, I don't think it's anything really bad. What is so, it? But it has an engine light on, so I really need to scan that and see what's up. I need to make some phone calls or something. Should I put the supercharger belt back on? Yeah, I mean, might as well. Should we try to start it one more time? See, dude, that's like two times in a row it didn't do I it. I know. But I one more. Again, I guess. Alright, so, damn, this thing has some freaking oh. resistance. Yeah, dude, that's no joke. And these things still slip sometimes. Alright, we should be good. Oh. Alright. Oh, no, that's not up. Alright, there. I think it's on. Alright, supercharger belt is back on. And now we're gonna throw the accessory belt back on and crank her up. And pray for the best. Well, I mean, I I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's probably gonna make the sound, but I think the sound might be something that's not that big of a deal. I don't know, but we're about to find out. Wait up, guys! Wait up, guys! Wait up, guys! I'm going Gucci. I'm gonna do it all on my own. Didn't even need your help. I'm getting that damn good. I'm out of here. Let's start this hoe up. You heard me. You don't gotta say that again. You heard me. All right. Yeah. All right, guys. So. For you guys that watched the previous video, you guys know this thing was making a weird sound. I made it a couple times tonight, so I don't want you guys to think that this was like clickbait or I like I did something to my car to make it like make that noise, but this is really weird. I still don't trust it. I'm not just gonna go throw it on the road and go test drive it, but the noise is not here. So um, I did, like I said, like I said, I did hear it a couple times tonight, but I don't know. I'm gonna talk to some experts and see what they say. I'm gonna ask them and tell them exactly what's happening and tell them how it's misfiring. I really think that has something to do with like a bad coil pack or something like that. I don't know. I don't know for a fact, but I'm gonna attach the clip of it making noise at the end of this video so you guys can hear it for yourself. But it sounds good. I think we're out of the water, fingers crossed. I mean, it still could be something bad, like something in the valves or something like that, but I really don't think so because it doesn't sound bad. And it was really random how it happened, but one thing I'm definitely going to do once this is fixed is I'm going to get this thing professionally tuned by the best tuner I can get uh, my hands on. I don't know who's going to do it, but I'm going to reach out to a, to a couple guys and see who can do it because I want to make sure that this thing is like perfect before I put it back on the road. I'm also going to do an oil change um, and do a full tune up and everything that I need to do once I figure out what is causing this because it's really weird. I don't know. I mean, I really did think that my motor might have been F. That's why I had it towed. I mean, I literally, we didn't even, we, we pushed it in here like you guys saw earlier. It's not even like we drove it in. But this is good news. Good news. I don't think we're going to have to pull the motor. I don't think I'm going to have to spend $10,000 on a new motor, which makes me 
pretty damn happy, I'm not gonna lie. Can I get that 10,000? <laughs> I was thinking I had to spend 10 G's on the motor, but it's good news, and um, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. We did everything we could tonight. I ain't no pro mechanic. Matthews definitely ain't no pro mechanic. Crazy! <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, it is what it is. So, I guess um, comment what you guys think it might be, and comment some experts that you guys might know. So that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Peace.